improved fire control system on something like a scorpion would be fun, but I still have bad memories. I think I will go for... Will I even go for anything here? Going into photon boats is nice, but he already has the counter, so maybe I just go with photon emission. Put that on this side here and redeploy to the rear here. That thing has been absolutely thorn in his sight, I'm pretty sure. Now it's leveling up and that means it can finally one-shot these units even with heavy armor. Do I maybe get more marksmen now? I'm thinking this is not a bad play. Can even upgrade this marksman. So do I just... Yeah, I can get three Mark II marksmen. So let me get those. I still want to leave a place for a potential hacker in here for shields. So I'm going to put them in a way where I can later on do that. And I'm spacing them out. Do I want to... Yeah, I can unlock the crawlers for free. Might as well do that. So he's going into overlords. Yep. A reasonable choice. I'm going into photon emission. Did he pick something here? Mm, he has the senior attack specialist. Um, that I don't have. So he's going to do more damage over time and everything. Scorpion, please delete those steel balls. They are now... Uh, why is he not one-shotting? Oh, I mistook his health for his damage. So yeah, this, is, uh, this side is not turning out so well for me. I can maybe get that Overlord. No, the missile had just enough AoE. And this is hurting. This is a lot of giants and I'm not getting paid for them. Now I'm pretty sure I need to win the chaff game. Right here and now. Mass produced overlords for photons would be nice. Super heavy armor sounds cool. But I think I need to win the chaff war. Smoke bomb also worth a thought. And you know what I could do? Maybe this is actually now the time for hacker play. I'm going to unlock some higher ranked hackers. Because I would not be surprised if he now throws more combat powers my way. So I want to have a couple of barriers up. Can even upgrade these fangs, but I don't expect them to last for any significant amount of time. Upgrading the arc lights and stuff seems more reasonable to me. What else do I want to do? I think it's time to get health up. This is not going to win against the Overlord with bonus attack. And I also am not sure if it can win against whatever is going to come in on this side. Unless I let it come in from here. I still wanted to go after the Overlord. And this hopefully will have enough time to materialize before the Overlord is in firing range. I'm going to put it a bit further in the rear. And now, do I upgrade some of these fangs? Nah. Oh, he has another Overlord here. That is potentially really bad. It has Mothership, too. Is it going to materialize? Yes, but basically dead already. That was unfortunate, but it could not be helped. And I'm not winning the Chaff War hard enough with the Hackers and the Shields. Shield is lasting on this side, but I don't think that's a permanent remedy in any way. I did get a giant killed. That is, however, very, very good. I now have a melting point, actually. And I'm getting more. And now I have tower degradation. Going to keep this sniper around to kill this one. Maybe he can kill the other? <laughs> oh, that tower came in at the perfect time. Then again, I had three more marksmen here, so... Yeah, this was unfortunate. It's not time for a uh, supply specialist here. Assault Vulcan, I kind of need it. And I think that is what I'm going to do right here and now. This unfortunately did not work out as I had hoped. But I can always relocate it. I'm thinking that was a really good play here. I can upgrade so many of these units. And these fangs I want to upgrade. They are inside the shield. So dropping a Vulcan on this side, I think, is a good plan. 
Let me unlock it, drop it. Fits in here really, really well. I don't feel like upgrading any of this. Do I want to run a rhino around in some way? Nah, not really. I think I want to give these far more range. Uh, it also decreases the attack. But I have enough sniper power behind it to make it worth, I think. And then, do I want to put an upgrade on my snipers? Let's put faster firing on them. Get another crawler out on the battlefield. And yeah, that is going to be my turn. Let's see what the opponent has. He is going into overlords super hard. And he has wasps in my rear. I did not guard against those. But the faster fire rate marksmen are actually going to deal with them. This is a steel ball on my side that's going to soak up a bit of damage. Another steel ball on my side. Oh, it blew up so quickly. The marksmen are giving me money. They are paying for themselves this way. I'm even getting the melting point on this side, and it's going to kill the she- uh, It might die from acid first? Yeah, it's going to die afterwards. Yep, this is turning south for him. Not GG yet, but not far off either. Let's see what combat powers we have. Nano repair kit on something would be nice, but I'm not even sure what it would be. I think this, however, is worth it. I can upgrade so many units. I'm thinking about giving it to the Vulcan. I think the Vulcan, I uh, did not watch it, but it must have done a good job clearing out the chaff here. Upgrading the hackers. He no longer has a wasp swarm to throw in my way. This thing was actually doing decent against the overlords. How much range does he have? A hundred and this thing I could give it uh, 95. And it's, it is much higher level. I'm gonna upgrade what I can and then see what remains of my money. And it looks like a lot of it is remaining still. So I'm thinking I'm dropping, I'm going in on supporting my units uh, with bonus damage. I'm going in and getting the generate beam. This is next to the steel boss here, it fits real nicely. And what do I get on the other side? There's not nearly enough chaff here. I'm thinking let's just drop more higher ranked marksmen and drop him here in the middle they are outside of the shield well one of them is outside of the shield and uh, yeah temp upgrades buy out get anything really get yeah aerial couldn't get the missile did he put something on my flank no so this is going to be a straight fight. Shield is down. Aerial spec is doing amazing work. I should have done this earlier. I'm getting more money. My damage boosts on both sides are down, but his units are down on both sides. This is GG. This is GG, and it's going to be by quite a mile. Oh, wow. 2,219 overkill. Yeah. All right. I feel good about this game. I feel really good. I think my harass with the Wraith was not perfect, but I think it was good enough for many things. I was able to harass him from this side. He got a melting point. Then I harassed him from this side. Oh, well, I put it back and had it support my forces. Then I harassed from this side and it still got through the wasps, if I remember correctly. Then I put it in the back, left it for a while there, tried to do something here, but he was going into mass overlords with cannons. Uh, was he going into... This one has a cannon on it, but these others don't have the icon here. That I guess that's a kind of a bug. He was trying to blast my units, but I don't think that worked out for him all too well. Gonna save this replay as well. 
because it was not a it was not an easy game. We were quite balanced, and I think the MMR and everything else reflected that the MMR and the combat power. So I'm happy with this game because I think I made a lot of right calls, and yeah, uh, I'm I still didn't look what the Vulcan was doing, but it has so much XP it must have been roasting a lot of stuff. Anyway, thanks you for watching. Until next time.